Yo, so check it out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is General Tony and welcome my friends to my channel 12 base. Now I think this video is going to be going up a little bit later than usual. Maybe about 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. So if you are awake and you're watching this right now, then leave a like on the video. Let me see how many people are still awake guys. So check this out. We are back of course on the main village. Now loads of you have been asking for a Captain Tony episode and I think we're going to do one. The next video that's uploaded to the channel. If you want a Captain Tony episode, let me know down below in that comment section, you guys. Just uh, just type Captain Tony and I'll see how many people comment. So, check this out. There is a new Clan Games starting tomorrow, guys. But there is some new things which have been added into the game right now, guys. So, we've got the one gem donation event. And we've got Donate and Destroy. Donate and Destroy is the new round of Clan Games. And these are going to be the prizes, guys. It is a six-tier reward system. And we've got a Rune of Elixir all the way at the end. So it looks okay. Not the greatest, but it still looks decent. I don't know why we had to wait eight days to get that, guys. So that's a little bit strange. But if we go into the events, check this out. Fun for one, guys. During this event, all Clan Castle Troops Spell and Siege Machine donations will be discounted to the low price of a single gem per donation. It's time to fill those siege machines, guys. So that sounds pretty cool. Definitely sounds like it is going to be helpful. But I'm not even inside of Clan Wars. So uh, it's not going to be, you know, too helpful for me. But what we're going to do, guys, we're still on the path to maxing out this Grand Warden. Now, currently, take a look at this. We've got two builders upgrading. One on a Wizard Tower, one on a Tesla Tower. And that means we have three builders free. So the mission is to upgrade at least one more feature before the end of the video guys. Now what we're gonna do, we are going to boost all our collectors because we do have some resource potions. We are also gonna boost every single one of our army camps, the siege workshop and all the other great stuff. And we're gonna be using the same strategy we were using yesterday guys, the angry worms, which is a combination of dragons and rage spells. Now if we go into the quick train tab, I believe we've already got two trained up. Yes we do. So let's get ourselves into live attack number one. Now we're currently waiting for some more update information, guys. So don't forget, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As soon as we receive some more update information, we will bring you it as quickly as possible. Now to get onto the topic of the episode, guys. You can all see the title. Tony is going back to Legends League. Yes, we are. Yesterday, I asked you, my subscribers... If you wanted me to go back into the Legends League, and so many of you said yes. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to see how long it takes to get to the Legends League, guys, with these horrible, horrible clouds that Supercell still haven't fixed. So for now, my friends, stay tuned. We're about to get ourselves into our first live attack. Check this out, guys. This dude is only offering us five trophies, but he does have a lot of elixir. And that is what I'm looking for. I don't care about gold. I don't care about dark elixir. All we want is elixir because I need to get this Grand Warden to get to level 27 as soon as we can. Because I think we still have another book of buildings. Sorry, sorry, a book of heroes. So, what I'm going to do, that is a very high level air defense. And it does look pretty scary. So, I think we are going to come in with... The Eagle Artillery, sorry, the, uh, the Siege Machine, and I'm going to come in right about there, guys. I'm going to use a Dragon over here, and I'm going to use a Dragon over there. So, let's see how far we can go here. Let's do this. There goes a the King. We are going to drop in the Queen just behind, and the Siege Machine almost going down pretty quickly to, of course, that uh, amount of defenses inside of this little part of the base, guys. But we took out the Elixir Storage, and the Queen is moving in. So, there goes the Air Defense. We are going to drop the Archer Tower, and it's actually looking pretty good, guys. Check it out, that dragon is still alive. So we're not going to be using any of our other troops just yet. Let's use the King's Ability. Let's see how much of this base we can actually take out. So the Queen is getting a little bit deeper. She's going to take out the Tesla Tower and lock onto the Town Hall. This is actually great. It looks like we're getting a Town Hall before we even drop in the rest of our troops, guys. So already... Up to 29%. Okay, so here comes the rest of the army. So dragon, dragon, dragon. And the rest of the dragons, guys. Here we go. Grand Warden. Rage spell and a rage spell. Let's do some destruction. So we only got one free spell. 
Hopefully we're going to be able to three star this base, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to lie. This base is looking pretty scary. So here we go. Moving deeper in, guys. I'm going to use a Grand Warden's ability now. Saving as many of these dragons as possible. Free spell is going to go down on that Inferno Tower, guys, as we move more towards the rear of this base. Now, there's only two air defenses left. Question is, can we take them out? Remember, we are only using dragons, so this is pretty brutal. There goes one of them. A single air defense left, guys. Here we go. The dragon has arrived, and it's down. Awesome. We're up to 84%. 85 on a town or 12, guys. So we lose another dragon. That's okay, though. How many have we got? We've got, I think, four dragons remaining. And it's looking like it's going to be a close one, guys. Just over 30 seconds left in the raid. Dropping these defenses pretty damn quickly. Here we go. Luckily, this dragon got targeted. And the other one is on very low hit points. So it's going to be able to do a lot more damage. And we're going to close in on 95. Here we go, 94. There goes another one of our poor dragons. It was actually five. Now there are four remaining, guys. A cannon is going to go down. Moving on to the elixir pump. There it goes. 97%. There are the final three buildings. But it looks like it's game over, guys. Can we get one more? Yes, we can. Check that out. A 99% two-star. What a way to start off the video, guys. That is incredibly close. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the job done, but we got the event completed. We got ourselves a free potion and 300 experience points. So, let's see. Did we get a star bonus? I think we did. 750,000 gold and elixir. That takes us well over 6 million gold and elixir, guys. So, we're looking good. And we've already got the next army trained up. Now, we're going to keep training this dragon army because it is so damn cheap. It is incredible. All we need to do is gem ourselves a hero. There's a queen. There's a Grand Warden. And there's a king. Let me check. Grand Warden is set to ground. Sorry, air. And we got the spells ready. Siege machine locked and loaded. Let's do this, guys. Another star bonus is also available. So uh, we're going to be able to get possibly two star bonuses inside of a single video. Fingers crossed this time we can find a base maybe offering even more elixir. So we can get closer to that dream of a max level Grand Warden to join the level 60 King and the level 60 Queen. So once again, stay tuned guys. We'll be back in a couple of moments time. Let's see what we can find. Some of these bases are awful and uh, we're kind of scared. We're only at 4,400 trophies and this already major, major clouding. So I don't know what it's going to be like at 5,000, but we're going to go back just because you guys want me to. Okay, so check it out, guys. Today, we're going to set ourselves a bit of a challenge. I don't want to just do normal attack after normal attack after normal attack. What are we going to do? We're going to see if we can three-star a Town Hall 10 base using just a dragon army, guys. Now, we've got 14 dragons. That's all we're allowed. Five rage and a freeze. And we're also going to be allowed the wall wrecker, but we're not allowed to use the heroes, guys. So can we three-star this base without using the heroes? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be really smart. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and use a wall wrecker to take out one of these air defenses, guys. I think I'm going to go for this one here. So, let's see what happens. Here we go. I'm going to use a dragon over here whilst that wall wrecker is getting to work. And it should actually take out that first air defense. And we're going to use another dragon down the bottom to take out the rest of these buildings, guys. So, here we go. Air defense is down. And we're getting into the base, guys. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. If we can take out this air sweeper, that would be awesome. Yes, we can. And we've done a fantastic start, guys. So, it's even doing damage to the expo. I did not predict it to get that far. That is pretty sweet. Now, we've done that. What we can now do is move in with these dragons over here. So, let's see, guys. Here we go. Dragons lining up. And I was about to drop in the Grand Warden there. It would have been a habit, a bad habit. But here we go. Dragons under the rage. Moving in on that air defense, guys. And it's down. So we've only got a, a single freeze. I'm going to try and save it, I think, for this air defense down the bottom. So let's just see what happens, guys. Or we could use it on the troops in the middle. You know what? Let's, let's keep going. Let's see, we've got an air defense here. I think I'm going to drop it on this air defense, guys. It looks a little bit scary, so let's use a rage. There goes the defending queen, and the air defense is down. That means we've obliterated all four air defenses in the base. Now, we got dragons on the left, the right, and the bottom. 
and it looks like there is a chance we could three-star this town hall, uh, town hall 10 using this army, guys. So, here it goes. What's it looking like? Archer Tower goes down, diminishing the rest of these buildings. This Archer Tower is going to take out one of my poor dragons, guys. But we've got back up on the horizon, and it's just going to come down to time. Here we go. Dragons going back for those elixir pumps. These dragons over here are going to take out the gold storage. Sorry, gold collector. And it looks like we got a three star. Once again, guys, only five little trophies. But you know what? It's cool. We're maxing out our base as we go. So there goes the bomb tower. And it is definitely game over. The dragons have done it, guys. Town Hall 10 has been destroyed. And the dragons have prevailed. So let's calculate our total loot. We got ourselves another nice little bonus there. And uh, that takes us to 4,000. 327 trophies so we've definitely got a long way let me train up another army and we still need to upgrade 26 sorry 76 more level 12 walls to level 13 as well guys but i don't think we can actually afford any upgrades right now so i'm gonna keep on farming and i want to max out my wizard towers next guys 11.2 million there's only two of them left to upgrade we've already upgraded three so uh, it shouldn't really take too long. That one's going to be done in less than 24 hours, which is pretty awesome. So all I'm going to say is, guys, if you made it all the way to the end, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you shortly. Have a great week. Peace out.